Hello, this is Decoherent, and welcome back to some more Expeditions Vikings. So, now that we spent a bunch of time killing Romans, or I guess they were Roman-ish, I think we'll talk to a few more people here and there. I'm not really interested in running everyone's errands, but... Oh, this guy's underground. Oops, I wonder if I kill them. No, it would have given me a failure if I had. Alright, team, where are you? Oh, you're way over here. I guess, I guess I'll talk to people. The traitor woman under the striped canvas is clearly doing her level best not to cower. Her posture sows defiance, but her eyes show fear. I'm not with them. I'm not part of the cult. Whatever's going on here, I want no part of it. Meh, yeah, sure. I'll take your word for it. Will you still sell me stuff? She wrings her hands nervously as she speaks. Uh, looks like I won't be selling my wares here any longer. If you want to take some of it off my hands, I'll give you a good price. Hey! Fair price is alright. No, you don't have anything I really want, do you? Oh, hides. You do have hides. Yes. That's something I never have enough of. No wood. That's fine. I don't think I need rations or meat or anything. Okay, thanks. It's been fun. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to pack and get out of here. So, do you know where I, where I might find this uh, young guy named Theodore? Hmm, I don't know the names of most of the people here, but they don't like to use their birth names once they join. How does he look? Uh, red hair, thin beard, wears a yellow tunic with a blue trim. She scratches her neck while she thinks. I may have seen a boy like that. I think he was taken to the dungeon. Why don't you ask the woman guarding it? Will do. If by ask you mean stab, then yes, I am all over that. I do so love some stabbing. That's right, keep running. No, that's not true. I like hacking. Stabbing's okay. I'm not really into stabbing weapons. We've got some knives. But all the swords we have are... Oh, here we go. Well, whatever I just said. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, Severina. Oh, yeah, she's the one who was outside. Okay, she's gonna get rolled. Let's see. What are you, sword and board? 45 to 50. That's not awesome. Another sword and board. Another... A healer with a bow, and an archer. That I do not care for. Okay, so what are we going to do here? It's too bad that range... Oh, ranging shot is a free action. Okay then, so I'm going to get this person's cover to go away. Because I really want them to die. So let's go ahead and let's do that. And let's see what our numbers look like. Okay, so if I just take a shot as is... 95, and that would still let me move. Is that going to kill him? Hmm, maybe. Or I could just set them on fire. Yes. Fire. Nice. And you're going to die next turn. Nothing to think about. Okay, good. So, what's our plan here? Let's get a stun in on Severina. I'm not going to be able to really reach anyone else. Or wait, hold on, before I do this. Uh-oh. Something bad is happening. Okay. Where is Roskva? Let's go ahead and let's get demoralized up before we start anything. Well done. And now, let's get this stun in. Hopefully. Damn it. Or not. You know, whatever. Your idea is good too. Okay, Kettle, where can I get you out of the way? Not really any place good. This isn't cover back here. This is kind of cover. I'm not sure I want you up that close, though. Um. Hmm. Same with Roskva. There's not really a good place to put you guys. Well, just come over here. It's fine. And now... Yeah, that's about all I can do in terms of, like, attacks. Well, I guess I can fear someone. Hmm. It's too bad charge doesn't let you attack, like, way outside of range. Um. Oh, actually, I didn't have any way to check that. Let's... Should I get way up here 
to distribute some damage. Maybe? No, let's come over here. It's bad enough that I ran up like an idiot, and now I can't get out of there. You are not the person I'm trying to select. Oh, it's because Deese is way in the back. That's fine. Um, let's get the fear out, maybe? Damnation? Who would I like to behave erratically? I guess... Who's got the highest damage output? Quintilis. Okay. And Disa. Yeah. Tragically, charge doesn't work like that. Alright, so let's go... Hmm, you can't get anywhere useful. Well, come on up here. Do I have any other moves? Not particularly. Okay, let's see what happens. Hmm. Well, that was rude. Hmm. Maybe I should have feared the healer. I didn't think about that. That's obnoxious. Leave her alone! Okay, this is fine. Okay. I would really like to get some crowd control going here. So, I need to take down these two guys. They're a problem. Where's Kettle? Who can you exterminate? 35? Oh, that's right. You have the demoralized penalty. Let's just see if there's anyone else. Hmm. Okay, let's think about this. So, who can do what? So, Rosk is in some trouble. Provides combat specific... Or removes it. Huh. I don't know what that does. Okay. So, Quintilis is going to be a problem. I have two stuns? Two stuns. So I could... Can't get that guy. I can't probably kill her. Unless I got two hits in. And even then, no, that won't work. Well, let's pop Sacrament up. Or do I heal? I can heal Roskva. That might be a good idea. Let's do that. I can help. Cool. Hopefully that'll That's keep her from getting killed. Okay, so that basically means that now I need to take down one of the two archers. Wow, they both do a lot of damage. Well, so it goes. Let's get rid of the hunter. So I've got four attacks here. So doesn't she have that awesome super damage, but only on immobilized enemies? Could I stun without getting attacked? Yeah, I could. Let's give that a try, because maybe I can, like... Well, besides that attack of opportunity. Okay. So I think let's go ahead and use it, if I can. Nice. 102 damage. Nicely done. Okay, so you're stunned, so I've got two and then the healer, which is sword and board, okay. Oh yeah, and this healer, hmm. Well, I don't think I can take care of all three, unfortunately. Should I get another stun here? I would rather get the charge in, because that would be a kill. Oh, you don't have an attack of opportunity anymore. Yep. Problem solved. Oh yeah, well there's that one. But besides that one where I wasn't paying attention. Nice. Okay. And I can't actually kill anyone here. Well, you haven't taken any damage yet, so why don't you go ahead and get in the middle here. Maybe you can soak up a hit or two. 
Is that all I have? Yes. Let's get Roskfa way back here out of the way. And Disa's more or less fine where she is. I don't really want her taking any hits. But there's not much I can do to prevent that. So let's at least shift out of the way a little. Um, let's make sure no one else has an attack of opportunity. No, this is fine. Let's see what happens. They may be able to knock someone down, but hopefully not. Good, good. That's right. Just spread out your damage. Ah, right. Easy. Okay. So, who do I kill first? I wish he had some direct damage stuff. But he doesn't, so quit your whining. If you don't hit your shield, this could be a kill. Let's find out. Nope. Whatever. Let's use Talon. I think that's a fun button. Oh, I thought it did some damage, too. Oops. Well, that was stupid. That's fine. Well... Just taking a look here quick. Nah. Just see what we can do. Damn it. Okay, well. Now we gotta kill him with Kettle. Yeah. Not a good use of a shot, but that's okay. So now we need to get Roscoe out of there. So that was not good planning on my part. If I just had her run up and stab, that would have gone okay. So, who's next? Let's try... Can I charge without getting a whole bunch of attacks of opportunity? I cannot. Should I just go ahead and get a stun out here? Yeah, let's do that. Shield users are a pain, so let's just try to get him out of the fight. Okay, good. Now, all we have less is Nefcha, but that's okay. May be able to get a kill over here. Let's make a try. Damn. I hate shields. Well. Okay. You can run, but it's not gonna help. Alright. So, what's our plan here? I don't think we can get any damage on the healer, unfortunately. Yeah, we really can't. So let's fear him and see if anything good happens because of that. Panicked. Great. So... Should we use Kettle as cleanup? Yeah, let's use Kettle as cleanup. Worried about that shield. I hate shields. Let's go with shield hook. Because then I can get some good hits on from everyone else. Not sure we'll be able to kill both. Maybe. Oh, maybe, actually. Let's see what this does. Nice. Okay. Yeah, now I think we can kill both. At least, I hope we can. Yes. Alright, let's get you out of easy sight. And let's just go ahead and get everyone up here. Bad news, dude. Good stuff is not about to happen to you. Oh, I haven't used Roskva yet. Well, let's go ahead and get a heal in then. For no particular reason. 
Don't worry, I'm here. And let's pull kettle off to the side so I maybe have a better shot. All right. Well, that was a poor choice on your part. Victory. Excellent. I'm really preferring this particular method of problem solving. Okay. You guys carrying anything or is it the usual weapons evaporating? Yep. Junk. Not even from the named person. That's irritating. Just take your time. That's fine. We got nothing going on here. Medicine directly. Alright, that's nice. Can you, like, run? Please? Okay, various tables. Blah, blah, blah. Nothing. This is the slowest looting. Honey, nectar, cloth. Box, box, box. How do I get in here? Oh! Well, that was easy. Bones. That's where I store my valuables. Ancient helmet! Loot container character, very low. Oh, that's nice. The seal helmet looks like it's been heavily damaged, but skillfully repaired several times. Its design is ancient, but its ornamentation remains intact. It must have belonged to a man of high rank. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Low accuracy penalty. I don't care about that. Looks cool. All right. Mystery box. Schematics, which are kind of nice, but not, I don't know, necessary. Okay. Oh, look, here is Theodore. The man in the cell looks abjectly terrified. He's shielding his face with his hands, repeating the same words over and over. Please, 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 please. So, are you Theodore? He stops pleading and just stares at you for a moment. Then he nods slowly. Hey, your sister's been looking for you. She's waiting outside. Think you want to head out there? He nods again. You let him slink past you, hugging the wall, and he creeps up the stairs to freedom. So, okay. Well, is that all there is down here? Well, at least I got to kill some people. That makes it a good day all by itself. Let's wait for everyone to ever so slowly wander out of here. Oh my god, could you just walk a little faster? I thought the loading screens were boring. This loading screen, specifically. The boring one. Come on. All right, here we are. Some more things to loot. Hey, look, we're running again. Yay. Is it worth going up there to get these? Well, apparently it is. Yeah, sure. That was okay. Well, let's head back over here. Check this barrel on the way over. Full of free stuff. It's all free now. Just saying. Hello. Okay. Hey, Amber. The young woman is standing about as close to her nearly recovered brother as it's possible for two people to stand without physically melting together. She's all smiles, and her stutter is entirely gone. My hero, I'm so glad to see you again. Nah, sure, no problem. She holds out her hands, cupping an open pouch, overflowing with glittering pence. 
Here, I went and got the last of Father's savings. They're all yours. Thanks. Good luck in the future. And to you as well. If you have more dealings with that cult, please take care of yourselves. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't you worry. Boy, did I take care of them. Okay, do we have anything else up here? Just to turn in Ghosts of the Empire. Oh, that's right. Let's go give these guys back their payment. I don't really care, but... You know, everyone's gotta work. They showed up, they did their job, they got ripped off by a bunch of people that aren't really people anymore. Hey, here's your money. Did you have any luck? Yep, here we go. Cuthred and his companions all look very surprised. Huh, I never thought we'd actually get our payment. Thank you for helping us. One of Cuthred's companions rummages a bit in his, in his sack and then turns to you. Here, as a token of our gratitude. What did we get? Ooh. Hey, so we have a settlement in Orkniar that's in near need of skilled craftsmen. If you could get there, you wouldn't have to worry about non-payment again. A skeptical yet quizzical look comes over him. Well, that definitely sounds interesting. There's no way we'd be able to reach Orkney without help or resources. Um, what would you need? Seems very surprised. Looks is very generous of you. I suppose two pence and thirty rations would be enough. Yeah, sure, here. That's all good. The craftsmen pack their gear quickly before they all say their goodbyes. Obviously, you have nothing but our words, but we will see you in Orkniar. That's a promise. Thank you for doing this. Hey, no problem. We got tons of rations. Well, maybe not tons, but we've got a lot. Ooh, that increased our prosperity. Nice. Okay. Well, let's go turn in our last quest here. This was a fun quest. I really enjoyed this zone. I got some story without having to, like, do a bunch of story. I got to run around and do some stuff without being, like, Fry the delivery boy. Got to kill a bunch of people, and kill some other guys. Sinford is sitting on the steps of an old shrine, reading a beautifully illuminated copy of the Bible. It's an enormous book. If he lugs that around everywhere he goes, no wonder he's in good shape. It's raining! He tears off another nail and puts it beside the tome. You're back. Is it done? Are the cultists dealt with? Oh yeah. I've taken care of them. The cultists are dead. Sinford makes a simple hand gesture over his heart and mumbles some incantation. Requietum enum dona eas dominae et lux perpetua lucateas. Something close to that. I will inspect the site myself and ensure that every trace of the Dark Lord is gone. Once I gather my courage. As soon as I've seen that all is right again, I'll let His Grace know what happened here. Thank you for your help, Norseman. You have served God well today. Roskva mutters under her breath. What an asshole. Shush. Quiet. Neat! Okay. Well, oh, I saw an achievement come by and I didn't see what it was. Let's head out anyway because we need to go get some doctoring done. Maybe a little crafting. All sorts of important stuff. Okay, so... What do we got going on here? Where are we? I always lose track of where we are. Oh, here we are. No, this is where we're going, right? Ah, there we are. Okay. So sunrise. Everyone gets tired. Low food is less than ideal. No, people get fatigued on the way there. Alright, let's just go to the forest campsite. Oh wait, is that where I am? Alright. These shouldn't take any longer than instant to load. I'm just saying, this isn't even a map you're loading. Okay, so, injuries. So we've got four injuries that need to be taken care of. One of which is Roskva, which is irritating. Okay, so Roskva, sleep first, and... Who else has heal? You have heal. 
why don't you heal Raskva? Right? And then next up, Raskva, why don't you heal... Nefja? Kettle. Okay. And then... You can heal... Disa? Sure. Oh, actually, wait. I may need some witchcraft. Hold on a second here. Didn't I have someone else that had some okay healing? Where's healing? Support skills. Maybe? Witchcraft. Leadership. Oh, wait. It's not one that I have. Here, hold on a second. This makes it easier to find. Healing, right there. Okay. Who else had some healing? Oh, Ula does. Okay, let's have her heal someone up. You can tell these poor people that I never use. Okay, why don't you go ahead and heal... Nefja. Yes. Okay, alright. So we've got our hunting going out. I think Roskva's our only witch, so why don't you get some witchiness in here. And who can preserve food? We don't have any meat, so that doesn't matter yet. Urgh. I can never remember who has some of these skills. That's cooking. Where's preserving? Right there. Okay. Oh, Adis does. And you have fast sleeper too. Okay, so Adis... Do you have any time for cooking? Or preserving, rather? Yeah, we don't have any meat, so... Okay, well, let's see here. Two and two, that's fine. Doesn't Asleaf have... Oh yeah, he does, okay. That's fine. Disa... When is she getting healed? I don't remember, but... Oh, maybe it's this one. Nope, there we go. And... We need to get some repairs in, that's right. So... Nefja. Why can't you repair? Wait, am I stupid? You're the wrong person. I know this is just gripping. Tinker... Repairing, it's at the end. Oh, Gunner has a point in it, that's interesting. Kettle... And Asleaf. And Adis. And Disa. Who has some free slots? I think Adis does, doesn't she? Does she have Fast Sleeper? Let's find out. Yep, okay, so Adis. Let's get some repairs in here. Wait, what? Oh, because she's injured. Oh my god. Alright. Well, here, you rest here and guard here. And then... Yeah, no one's going to be able to repair, because all my people who can repair... are injured, aren't they? Oh no, that's not true. Asleaf can get one in. Let's fix... I thought this said, like, who was wearing something. Equ oh, equipped by Nefja. Okay. Well, let's get her armor up for sure. Okay. Yeah, we need to get some more guarding on here at the end. Let's just check this out super quick. Yeah, I need everyone to have... Sleep fast. So which one should I put you on guard? Why don't you go on guard here? That makes it a little better. Not much. Hmm. Deco has sleep fast, doesn't he? Nope. Does now. Okay. So we just need one more shift of guarding. Just need to make sure I've got the right people selected here. Yep. So, Adis, you go ahead and guard. 
And who still has available shifts? Well, Neftra can't do anything. Oh, she should be guarding here at the end. Yeah, sure. In that case... Kettle can do some repairing, can't he? Nope. Oh, it's already been assigned, huh? Uh, okay. Whatever. He can't do anything, really. You know what? This is fine. Go ahead. Howling wind whips up your hair and stings your flesh and your eyes with sharp snowflakes. You feel lightheaded, and it's difficult to breathe. An endless range of jagged mountains peaks stretch towards the horizon. The wind carries the cawing of ravens and the howls of wolves. You become aware that someone is watching you. I don't remember there being mountaintops. Just saying. Oh, alright. Oh, hey, it's Grimnir. And a wolf. Two wolves. Enjoy the view. You can see everywhere from here. You can see right to the end. Where am I? You're at the top of the world, and you must ask better questions. Okay, how will this end? For me, it will end with eternal winter, snow scarlet from the blood of gods. For you? Ha! You'd have to ask the Norns, but they're not talkative. It's not all predetermined, of course. The major lines have been laid out for you. Not so much branches on a tree as strings unraveling at the end of a frayed rope. So I have no say in the matter? The old man lets his gaze wander upward into the night sky, where thick rivulets of snow swirl from great dark clouds. A difficult question under the best of circumstances. Much about a person's course is determined from the beginning. The path you walk now would never have been open to you, were you not the son of a thane. Had you been born elsewhere, or in a different time, you might have been a philosopher or a slave. You might have spent your entire life staring at a glowing glass. <laughs> Regardless of the life you were born to, your culture shapes you. Had you been a chieftain in a Christian country, you would not be a warrior. You were also shaped by your upbringing. Had your parents not instilled you with their proud defiance, you would not have crossed the sea to defend your freedom. Yet, despite the compulsions that rule and restrict you, humanity has an inerrant certainty in its own self-determination. Even if you decide that your actions are not always your own, you cannot live accordingly. If you feel with every fiber of your being that your decisions are your own responsibility, what difference does the naked truth make? Alright, so are you going to give me a hand? No. Such guidance would only bring you the illusion of safety. Grimnir begins to turn away, but then a thought appears to strike him. Many have asked of your intentions, raider or traitor. Are you beginning to see the lie behind that choice? What if peace were never an option? A story requires drama, and drama requires conflict. What if your real choice is which tragedy to perpetuate? Then so be it. Things rarely turn out the way you want. Grimnir crosses his arms across his chest. In that realization, you may just have found the key to contentment. Fate has set you on a grim course. You can ride it out, or you can jump off the wagon. Or you can double down. It wouldn't be much of a choice if all options led to success. My philosophy's always been, if you're going to fail, fail big. Fail like you're going on YouTube. Very interesting. Okay, everyone's healthy again. We ended up with some meat, used a lot of medicine. Ooh. Spendy. Well, so it goes. Okay, well, let's head over to where we're going. Okay, so I'm actually going to stop the episode here so I don't have to cut out the loading screen. All I'm going to do is enter and then save the game because it's been unreliable on maps and stuff. So, until next time, thanks for watching.